and this is John Dunphy. Welcome to Dunphy Art Studio at the uh, Canal Gallery in Holyoke. I've been here at uh, the Canal Gallery for the past nine years. Um, I love this place. Um, I love the architecture, the, the environment. It's very creative. Um, the uh, family of artists and um, every day is an inspiration and uh, David Shear owns this building and uh, he's been more than helpful and um, he's helped me create the studio um, from scratch it used to be his office um, back in the day and um, I needed a place a venue to teach my art studio my art students and uh, he um, knocked down the walls and um, created this beautiful place and we've been enjoying it ever since. I guess Holyoke needs me. <laughs> um, I, I just love the art. It reminds me of home, believe it or not. I'm from, uh, I'm a native of um, New Bedford and uh, I always thought of Holyoke as uh, another um, form of New Bedford. Uh, the, the mills, um, the uh, history it has a lot of history and character like New Bedford does and uh, right here by the canal which was perfect it was just like I knew it was meant for me um, to be here so I have a little bit of New Bedford right here at um, the canal gallery and uh, and it's it's a central location. I can get to Northampton, I can get to Springfield. Um, you, you're right there, you're in the middle of everything. So it's an um, easy location for everyone to come to me. Yeah, primarily I, I do, um, port I love doing portraits. That's my, that's my, um, my love is um, portraits. I like, try I like doing um, different things. I love oil. I love the feel of pastels. Um, Lately, I've been working with um, boats, uh, fishing boats. I started off with still life. I've done a little bit of, I've done a little bit of everything. I don't know what I'll be working on next. Um, I've also been working with um, painting on fabric. I haven't quite found my niche yet. <laughs> still looking. Um, I, I don't consider myself an artist. I'm, I'm more of a painter. Um, Debbie's the artist in, in the family. Um, I started. Uh, Painting is something uh, to try that I always wanted to try. Uh, when I turned 40, I wanted to try something new, so I took a lesson and I really enjoyed it. I wasn't getting very good at it, so I met Debbie several years later and started taking classes with her, and things improved greatly. Um, but it's still just a hobby for me, and um, so I'm, I'm kind of the business end of Dumpy Art Studios. Um, I, um, I teach. Um, and that's what keeps me going. And um, my um, my mentor, um, Catherine Broder, she's the one that got me started in this whole business. And she told me, she says, Deb, if you want to improve in your art, teach, teach and teach and teach. And that's what I've been doing. And um, as I see my artists and my uh, my students improve, and um, I always have to keep myself ahead of the game. So. Um, they also challenge me to improve myself, so I'm always um, looking um, for new, I don't know, for new ways to improve my art in order for me to um, pass that on to my students. I'm working on a, a house portrait for someone in Springfield. Um, it was a house that he loved. He uh, raised his family in and he sold the house a few years ago and um, he had so many great memories um, in this house so he asked me to um, do a portrait of what the house looked like back in, back in the day when he owned it. Um, I also do lo um, portraits on location. Um, my, one of the most exciting portrait I did was um, I was flown up to uh, Florida to do a portrait of um, 
this woman who um, turned 80 and I did the portrait um, right there in her living room so that was fun she loved it that was a birthday present As from her son yeah yeah so um, she was very happy she was a really really nice lady she was a lot of fun so that was pretty exciting and um, I also work um, portraits from photographs and you know as well as from life well a lot of um, people come in from they're they're retired some are retired retired nurses teachers I get a lot of that and um, you know some are seeking to become artists some I have on uh, young kids and you know in school who want to become artists and um, some people that just want to take a break from what they do on a daily basis. Um, we have engineers, architects, uh, myself, chiropractors. I mean, business, chiropractors, who just want a change from their, their daily jobs and come in and look at art as a, a way to relax. It really is a way to relax. And we use it to solve all the world's problems, too. <laughs> Driving. Right, just it's exciting to just drive right in the parking lot and see the sign, from Canal Gallery Art Studio, walking in that front door, coming in. It's uh, my the, little haven. The camaraderie of the students that come in, you know, it's always fun. It's a different group. You've got how many mm -hmm. classes? Yeah, I teach. Dozens of different classes, all with different personalities of students and. Uh, yeah, it's quite a it's quite a blend. It's, great. it's, it's just a, it's a nice it's a warm. I I wanted, and I know when David Shear um, built this, um, we wanted a nice warm place for people, something inviting um, that they can feel unthreatened, um, place where they can really express themselves and create beautiful art. Um, put it in shows. We also have. Um, artist meetings here. We, um, I'm vice president of um, the Holyoke League of Arts and Crafts and this is where we hold our meetings. So it's a, a nice, this is just a, a nice place um, to be. Pieces not only, you know, um, that I do myself, I mean I, I we share with students like, um, um, like Zoe Ochoa, you know, working on that beautiful um, piece um, of her father on uh, material. Um, that's kind of interesting and funky. I mean, it's not something I would do for myself, but it's fun to um, do with other people. Um, for myself, um, things that are totally out of the ordinary are um, my latest pieces right here. The T.T. The Gilly, the, um, the boats, I'm trying to... I, I'm always trying to work with different styles and see what works for me. Um, I can work on um, very um, detailed, or I can work abstract or um, impressionists. Or you know, I'm always trying different things. Well, they all interest me. Um, There's several artists right in this building. Um, They're very well known locally and some nationally. Craig Stone. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, he's been a real mentor um, for me, um, and Don Wilhelm. Don Wilhelm also, and uh, yeah, those are the two that are in this building. And I also have this other girl, um, Mary Ann. She's helped me with, you know, with some clay pieces and stuff. So that was kind of fun. Uh, we have Lee Hutt. Um, she does beautiful um, sculpt sculptures and. Stella. Estella Bergeron, and uh, it's just such a great, a lot of great talent, a lot of wonderful talent here. I like working with young uh, high school kids. Um, it just, uh, it's exciting because they're just learning, um, and it's it's fun. Um, it's fun for me. It's very rewarding to see them grow and um, and building their confidence because they're at that age right now that you know they they have so much pressures and um, you know they have to do well in school. They're in sports. They're in this. They're in that. You know, and um, just finding something that they enjoy that they can feel they can excel at and build up their confidence and even that alone is. beneficial. 
my uh, my daughter. She's been, uh, you know, she's she's always she's been my model. Um, I started painting her since uh, she was a, a kid, and um, you know, I have my mother. My mother takes art classes with me, so she color actually pencils. color pencils. Um, actually, my mother is the one that inspired me in the beginning of my life. Um, she used to draw, uh, she used to do portraits herself when I was young. And uh, I mean, to me, they were like, wow, they were great. I wish I could see them now. I don't know what they looked like. My grandmother used to draw. She has a, a, a drawing book. I used to come in after school and copy them, and she would give me some advice. And um, it's so funny to have my mother in my studio now. and. You know, I get to tell her what to do. <laughs> but she's pretty good. She's really good. She's amazing. Gosh. <laughs> what do I have to have? I have to have music, for one thing. Um, it, it all depends on my mood. I mean, one time it was the Dixie Chicks. That was back in the day. <laughs> it was a long time ago. Um, now I listen to a lot of... I, I, I like the... Um, you know, I like listening to the oldies. I've been listening to that. A lot of the 70s um, music. Um, a little bit of everything. Of course, it's always, you know, money and time. Time. Um, um, trying to make time for yourself, for your family, you know. Um, you know, you you kind of sometimes you feel a little split apart. You know, and then you got to spend time with your um, your students, your teaching. So I try to, and then you get some running around to do. So, and you, you try to find the time to um, to paint. I'm gonna be showing at the ha Hosner the Hosner Gallery in uh, January. At Forbes Library in Northampton, we do the Mattoon Street Festival every year. Uh, we've done. Uh, summer fest in New Bedford. That was that was uh, in the Whaling Museum there, and we're trying to increase the shows we do as we get more uh, inventory, so to speak. Um, also, the Kalidic Hospital. We're going to be doing that too. We've, we've been there. Um, so we're just we've been married three years, and we're trying to expand what we do in that area, doing more shows, more craft fairs, the Paradise City. Um, show is this in Northampton is this October this weekend mm. we hope someday to get into that one as well and so we're going to expand that as we as we move on the Holy League of Arts and Crafts um, monthly meetings which is uh, the last Friday of the month and we have different um, demonstrators uh, we had Chris Toper um, she demonstrated this past month um, September and uh, I believe we'll, we'll be having a Greg Stone. He'll be doing our next um, demonstration. But you do demonstrations and other for other... Uh... Oh, yeah, I do that. I, I demonstrate all over. I've done the Agawam Art League, um, Tobacco Valley Art League, Paint and Palette in Connecticut. Um, the Holyoke Mall. Yeah, the Holyoke Mall. I've done a, I've done a lot of demos, demonstrations. Amherst College for the gifted. Yeah, yeah, and I also teach on the the connections program for the connections program for the public schools, and I'm um, currently teaching um, class at uh, the Chicopee Comp um, High School. First thing is you gotta you know um, know what you want to do. You know if it's if it's what you want to do, um, make up your mind early and just go for it with all you got. Just be persistent. You know, if you have the passion for your art, don't give up. Keep going. Keep, you know, if it's what you want. And um, you'll get there. I mean, it gets Sign it. up for classes at yes. the art studio. <laughs> <laughs> Dot com. <laughs> We have a, a website, uh, dumpyartstudio.com, and we also have a Facebook page uh, for Dumpy Art Studio.
my name is uh, Norman Levesque, and I'm an area chiropractor. I was a real novice at doing this whole thing, and it's uh, it's just been fantastic. I can't believe it. You know? I can't believe it myself. <laughs> Taking art with Debbie now for approximately five years. It's been, it's been great, great experience. I'm telling you, she's a great teacher. Uh, my fiance was was down at Tumatoon Street and happened to see Debbie doing a portrait. And she asked her, Gee, you know, my fiance is looking for taking some art classes. Do you teach? I said, oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, I got the phone number. I called Debbie and uh, set up an appointment and came in. It's fantastic. It's, I've been doing that, like I said, for over five years now with her. So this is uh, one of my pieces of artwork here, which is a. Uh, 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 my fiance wanted something for the dining room, so we came. Up, Debbie came up with uh, the idea of a bottle of wine and a glass with with grapes that we had a still life set up for and uh, painted it up for. I'm, I'm kind of a, a, a funny artist in a way. I'll, I'll paint and I'll give them away. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes. I think I must have been born on a farm. And that's why I do a lot of farms. And uh, Debbie helped me with this. I just like farms. A very good friend of mine who was a professional artist who was killed by a drunken driver used to say to me, Joan, you have a very good eye. You should take painting lessons. And when she died, I did. And I've been very grateful to her. Uh, I started, before I met Debbie, uh, about 15 years ago, I started painting. And then I met Debbie for the first time, I don't know if she remembers, at the Mattoon Street Fair about 10 years ago. And I saw her painting and I thought she was very talented. And that's the first time I met her. I don't know if she remembers. And then I took a class someplace else and she happened to be in it. And then the next thing I knew, she was a professional. I think she's one of the best artists in the Pioneer Valley. Sold uh, pictures over the years, but uh, you know, it's more for fun because there's so many good artists around. You know, uh, Debbie is really an exceptional artist. I think it was a joy to know her from the very beginning. She's been a wonderful teacher. She's very encouraging and uh, I think she's, she's made me stick with it. I think she's a wonderful artist. Wonderful. And she's wonderful to everybody. My name is Donna Bevel and I am a CNA which is a clinical nurse's aide and I take care of people that have MS and Alzheimer's. I just doodled on and off. I never stuck with it but uh, I had a series of dreams that wanted me. I said when I saw the dreams I said oh that's beautiful and I wish I could paint them and um, you know so my dreams took me to painting and in my dreams there were portraits and I actually searched for a teacher for two years around Massachusetts and Debbie I felt was the best portrait artist so Debbie has been my teacher the last I want to say four years four or five years right outside of my door is um, Westfield and it's the green and they were having a um, like an art fair there crafts and stuff like that and um, I was gee let me go look and I left my apartment I walked over and there were a bunch of artists there and I saw her canvases and her artwork and that was it I had high blood pressure and um, I was taking uh, medication and I started doing the art and after six months of doing art 
at work I didn't need the blood pressure pills. So it's uh, very healing. Very, you know, you're working with a different part of your brain, actually. So it gives the body a chance to heal itself. I did um, well? I was in a few shows, and uh, in the beginning, I had a lot of good luck. I feel because I I, uh, I took two first places. And then I've taken two third places, you know, after that, but that was like in pastel. So I work in, I do, oh, the first one was graphite. Um, and it was a, a big, uh, a Victorian lady, you know, with a large size. And the second one's in a while. Um, and so I do oil and, and pastel and graphite. When I retire, that's what I'm just going to do is art, I hope. <laughs> my first lesson with Debbie, and I'm sorry I, I couldn't find my um, pad, but uh, she had me come, she sees where you're at first, what she's starting with. And uh, so she picked a picture and she said, draw it, it was a lady's face, and I did. And then she took that pencil and she showed me how to hold it. She was holding it. And she did the face in five minutes. And it was a graphite with pencil. And I went, oh. And then she said, well, I want you to hold the pencil and do it. And so in the first lesson, you can see the difference. And I wish I had it with me. This painting here, uh, I had gotten the idea of this painting, uh, taking a road trip back from Cape Cod, and I turned around and I saw my granddaughter's face that was so bored, and I put this painting together. This is her brother in front, listening to the music, nice and calm, and that's her. And the name of the painting is, Are We There Yet? <laughs> I'm Trisha Marie Hennessy, and I work for a Pioneer Packaging Company. I am billing and inventory control. I've been with Debbie since 1995. She's the only teacher I've ever had. Um, she's been a, a she's my mentor. Um, I got into art actually through my best friend's daughter. I bought her a coloring book and decided to draw the pictures that she was coloring. Found out that I had a talent, and my mother somehow stumbled onto Debbie, and I've been with her ever since. Well, this, I saw a picture of a strawberry, and I really liked it. It was simple. The picture I was painting from, the strawberry was right dead in the center, and I wanted it a little bit different, so I pushed it off to the side. And it was just a simple little strawberry, and it's one of my favorite pieces. I've done shows here in Hoyoke at the Wisteria Hearse. I've done a show in Agawam at the library. I've, you know, here and there, locally, I, I get a, I do a lot of commissions, so I get people that see my work and pay me, and I love it. It's it's a, it's a fun hobby for me, and it's something that I enjoy doing, and I'll never stop. With her since 1995, I I'm absolutely she is a phenomenal teacher. I would never go to anybody else. I fully trust her. Um, her capabilities are just beyond. She's a phenomenal teacher and phenomenal artist. Artist. And it's, I just love painting here. The atmosphere is great. And she's just, she's a great teacher to have. Hi, I'm Zoe Ochoa. I'm 17 years old. I'm in high school at Longmeadow High School. I've always been interested in art, but once I met Deborah, it really escalated once I was in high school and I got more serious about it. This is a portrait I did of my dad, and it's going to hang in my family's salon. Father, he passed away when I was younger, and I wanted to do a picture of him to remember him in his salon that he built with my mom. and. I wanted to make it very like him and use lots of colors and well Deborah is we're best friends and I look forward to every class with her on Saturdays and she's really 
sparked my love for art and I appreciate it so much more and I've learned how to do art the right way and do it the way I want to do it and I really appreciate her for, for that. We were deciding, um, I heard about, so much about Zoe's father that he was, he was um, um, very well loved and uh, he had a lot of personality, he was a very expressive person and we wanted to come up with an idea that would best suit his personality. Um, which hit me on the right time because oh, lately I've been doing a lot of um, paintings with fabrics. So um, I, we already um, done paintings with fabrics, so um, uh, Zoe was familiar with it. So we were thinking, well, maybe we can do something on fabric, something very colorful. So that's what um, Zoe did. Um, she went down to the fabric store and picked up a ton of um, tie-dye fabric. And that's what this is um, built on. It's all tie-dye fabric. And um, we spent the whole day <laughs> <laughs> and that explains a lot of the colors in the back of the room. So, I don't know, um, we were looking at it and said, what does it make, how does it make you feel? What do we see, you know, through it? And we came up with, you know, it's very like earthy and he's in everything. It's like this is the water and it's, yeah, he's like, in and out of the universe. Yeah. He's coming through these through the water, through the, the cosmos. The planets. Hi, how are you today? Uh, my name is Mark Schwinard. I'm the pen maker for JJ Artwood, and uh, this is my shop. I make pens, kaleidoscopes, and other collectibles. And uh, I'm glad you stopped in today. I'd uh, like to show you what I do.